you're going to get a nice modern daytime city. How the cities are generated is sort of random. But uh, just a second, you're going to start to see some facades put on the building. I'm thinking this is going to be a European flavored city. That is so cool. So, this is used like quote unquote for real, as in uh, a, a real hot area in JS called Geo Design. So, the city of Austin is going to redo part of downtown, get rid of some old warehouses. They want to build a virtual city and maybe look at the different architectural designs. And they also might want to do things like, uh, you know, look at how it's going to impact the views from other communities or look at what it might do to the heat radiation in a downtown area or things like that. So that's where the GIS part comes in. This is just a fun example. So we made a thumbprint and then map that thumbprint to a simulated city. It, it actually built a simulated city based on your thumbprint. How did it build it based upon my thumbprint? Uh, it uses your thumbprint as a street network, and then uh, the street network is used to sort of do the layout of the city, and then the buildings are just created around that street network. So each city is unique just like your thumbprint is unique. So here what we're looking at is, uh, this is one of the streets uh, in your city, and there's the whole city right there all zoomed out, so you can see the thumbprint underneath that. And then you can sort of take a little virtual tour of the city and uh, do that by going down the street. So each of these lines in the city has been generated from your thumbprint. So why a thumbprint to do this? It's just a kind of a way to kind of show the correlation between a pattern and a simulation on a map? It, it just seemed an interesting thing to do and mostly because everybody knows their thumb pretty well. And uh, so, you know, it's something that they can relate to. And the cool thing is that just like the print, you know, each city is unique, so this really is very much your own unique city. Let's see if I can, I can do another one here using my thumb print here. So we'll see my thumb right here. And it uh, looks like I'm going to get a nighttime view because I can tell by the darker clouds here. I'm coming!